They're just showing dribbling, pure dribbling. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Oh, straight on the ground. Broke him. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. We have an awesome reaction in store for everybody. We have R10 versus R9 skills battle. Now, before we go ahead and get into this thing, I want to give a shout out to the person who suggested this video, one of the fellow community members, Anibis9692. So shout out to Anibis9692. If you guys want to get your video to like actually like me react to one of your videos, make sure you add it in the comment section down below and link to the actual video so I know which one to watch. Um, and I'll give, make sure to give you guys a shout out to the video in, in the video as well. Um, other than that, I'm super excited to get into this. I have done a reaction to Ronaldinho and Ronaldo before, but I've never done a 1v1, like a kind of competition comparison. So I'm excited to check this out. I'm excited to see what's the difference between the two, like what really makes them great. And uh, I think this is going to be a super cool video to check out. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into this thing. R10 versus R9 skill battle. Shout out to Feel My Style. I'm going to leave the link to the original video if you guys don't want to watch it with me talking. It's going to be in the description down below. Uh, let's get into this thing. R10 versus R9 skills battle. Let's see. Let's see. This is a pretty old video too. I think this video is like nine years. Yeah, this video is nine years old. So I'm excited to check it out and see what's up. See what's up with it. Back when Ronaldinho was in Barca. All right, so we got some music going. Hopefully this isn't copyright music. So they let me post the video because sometimes YouTube is weird about that. They don't let me post. Okay, Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or. Both of them got Ballon d'Ors. I seen a video late. I seen a late, a video recently of uh, Ronaldo with, with Speed, and Speed's meant to go visit Ronaldo, which seems like the most random combination, but that's pretty cool. Let's see. It's cool to see that they were able to play together. It seems like Ronaldinho came like towards the end of Ronaldo's career, or or were they playing at the exact same time? Because Ronaldo looks a little bigger. I knew he gained some weight like later in his career. Oh shit! Okay, okay, we're getting we're getting started. Let's put this down. The volume is kind of loud. Okay, okay. Uh. Okay, so this is Ronaldo. This is R nine right here. Super aggressive play style. I know that his that's that was his play style. Just like go right, go right at you, break you down. Uh, uh. If it weren't for his injuries, man, he could have been something crazy. I did a reaction. If you guys want to see the reaction to R9, I'm gonna have it pinned up here, so it should like pop up around in this this corner right here. Um, I did a reaction to him, and then um. Later in this video, I'm going to pin another one for Ronaldinho that I did of him. So if you guys want to watch those specific reactions, make sure you guys go ahead and check those out. Oof, what a pass. One thing I will say about Ronaldinho is that his passing is crazy. Like, his dribbling was crazy. Like, his dribbling was... Like, I, I still haven't seen anybody that is able to dribble like him from all the reactions that I've done. Like, he's just so creative with the ball. He's able to make stuff happen, like, out of nothing. But... Ronaldo's accuracy and his power on offense is just crazy. Like he's just he's just going from 50 feet out and just shooting missiles, missiles like without worrying, without sweating a little bit. Uh, he he got some good dribbling too, but more physical. Like, yeah, like Ronaldo's gonna be more physical. Ronaldinho's gonna be more showy, like flashy, like bounce the ball over your head, slap you once. Dribble right between your legs. Who had a, who had a longer career? Did Ronaldinho have a longer career than Ronaldo? I'm pretty sure, right? Because I think I seen the video like he got like knee surgery and then he couldn't play in the World Cup and then he got hurt again and then after that after he got hurt like a second time that's when he kind of like started really going downhill and gaining a lot of weight and stuff. Damn. Oh, so they're not gonna show. Oh yeah, they're only showing skills. So I don't know why I keep expecting them to. <laughs> I don't know why I keep expecting them to put like goals and stuff in there. They're just showing dribbling, pure dribbling. Ooh, <laughs> damn! Oh, straight on the ground, broke him. 
Oh. Dude, that has to be so hard to do, like, full speed. Oh, oh, left, right. That's tough. That is so tough. Being able to control the ball at full speed like that. Change direction like nothing. Got him. Something, something in the air in Brazil, man. It just creates some beasts. Creates some beasts. There's nothing, e there's nothing easy about that. There's nothing easy about that. Like absolute dogs down the pitch, just sprinting at full speed with 120% control over the ball, like without a doubt in their mind. I wonder if I wonder what they would say is the hardest defense they've ever faced. Like that seems, I feel like that would be a good question to see, like from their perspective, like who was who did the best job at like at least containing them a little bit, right? Because I don't know if there's like I don't know if there's such a thing as fully stopping one of these guys, but I feel like you just have to like send two three people at him at once to like just try to stop because without that it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough especially with the speed especially when they were younger and they were explosive oh that's tough especially r9 when r9 was younger oof, oof, oof. nice hey guys if you guys want to see a ronaldinho reaction just for him alone uh, I think it goes uh, back into his story a little bit or it goes to his shots too um, And his skills and everything that's gonna be linked up here at the top So like around there if you guys want to watch the Ronaldinho reaction go check that out mm -hmm. I wonder who came before who I should I need, I need to get my dates right because I want to see who who took inspiration like who started this style of dribbling because it seems like so like Specific to them like I wonder where they got that imp like inspiration from like was is it like just playing playing football in the favelas and just like that street football type of vibe is that where they got it from or was there another player before them that incorporated this style that they like took inspiration right that's the that's the only thing that i'm just i wish i can learn about or i guess maybe, maybe pele but i don't remember pele playing like this though right i mean he was the other big guy out of, out of brazil and that, that came before them but let me know if the, if he had this type of style, like flashy passes and stuff, and good dribbling. Damn, it's just like they're not even trying. That's it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was pretty. That was a lot to that was a lot to take in. One thing that I will say, one thing that I will say is that Ronaldinho is definitely more of a flashy, flashy guy with the ball. Ronaldo is definitely with more power. He's not like he's not trying to like batter people down, but Ronaldo's going straight at you. Ronaldinho's trying to spin around. He's trying to get a little fancy. So I can definitely see I, I can definitely see more of Ronaldinho and Messi than we're not than R9 and Messi because I feel like they just had two different completely like like play styles. But um, other than that, I don't really know if you can really compare these guys. I feel like they're just two different kinds of beasts. Like, it's just a whole different play style, a whole different mentality on the pitch. And they're just really good at different things. But you can't go wrong with either of them, if that makes sense. It just depends on the type of the type of guy that you want. Like, what is the type of guy that you want on the pitch for you? Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please watch another one. You'll see them right here. At the end of the video, watch any other video. I'm not going to ask you to like. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. Just watch another video if you found this one interesting. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.